Hi, I'm Kathy and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make a wonderful, quick, easy, very delicious lemon raspberry bread. It only takes a few minutes to put together and it is so yummy. Everyone's going to really love it. It's a perfect dessert as we're going into spring. Well, it's still winter, but <laughs> you can always hope. But uh, this is a light dessert and it's just very delicious and I hope you enjoy it. If you find value in this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell so you get notified of my next video. So let's get baking. You want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and then take a loaf pan like this and I'll put the size and the recipe in the description down below and prepare it. I just sprayed it with some spray oil and then sprinkled a little bit of flour on the bottom and you just kind of tap it around like this so you prepare your pan. You can also use parchment paper in here if you choose to do so, but I find mine comes out pretty well just doing that and you're going to just need one big bowl and your mixer i like to prepare all of my ingredients get them all ready so i don't have to be pulling everything out when i get ready to bake i'm going to use nine tablespoons of softened butter and i just you don't want it melted you just want it softened as you can see i can cut into it i find that if you take the the um, butter out of the refrigerator and just put it in the microwave just for a few minutes I mean not even a minute um, about 30 seconds and that does it in regards to softening it then you're going to take your mixer and you're just going to cream this up for a little bit then I'm going to add my cup of sugar Mix all that together until it's light and fluffy. You want to scrape down the sides, get everything into the middle of the bowl. And now we're going to add the eggs. So it's two eggs. We're going to add a half a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And then you want to add a zest of a whole lemon. So I like to use my zester. Of course, this lemon has already been washed. Mm, the smell of the lemon zest is just wonderful. And the lemon zest really adds a nice lemony flavor to um, foods when you're cooking them or things that you bake. It's just a very wonderful, if you like lemons, it's just awesome. I love my zester. And if you want to make your shopping easy, you can go to my links below of where you can find these wonderful kitchen gadgets. And I'm, you know, I got this little plastic juicer. I've had it for years and it serves me well. I have an electric one, but I just hate taking that out when I'm just going to juice a couple of pieces of fruit. So then we're just going to take this lemon and we're going to juice it because you want about two and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. And I just take it like this and I can pour in my lemon juice. Now, after we've added the egg, the vanilla, the zest, and the lemon juice, we're going to mix this again. And you want to mix it just till it's combined. The next thing you're going to add are the dry ingredients. We have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and I like to sift this in. And 
and then we'll add the salt and the baking powder and we'll mix this just until it's combined and I'm just going to use a spatula for this part now I'm going to add the four tablespoons of milk you can use either plain Greek yogurt or plain full-fat sour cream and since I had sour cream in the fridge I'm going to go ahead and use that and this is a half a cup of sour cream this is what really makes this bread very moist and you want to mix this in next you're going to fold in a cup and a half of raspberries and I'm using fresh raspberries and just fold this in and now you're just going to take your big bowl of batter and pour it into the loaf pan although I'm making it with raspberries this lemon bread can be done with other fruits. You could do this with blackberries, you could do this with blueberries. I'm thinking you could do it with strawberries too. That would be yummy. Okay. And now you just want to even out the top. I'm going to make sure I get all the batter in here. And just take the pan and give it a shake and everything will settle evenly in place. Get a little piece there. And I like to have my raspberries down in the batter a little bit more and not sticking up at the top. So we'll just kind of get them buried in there. Mm -mm. this is going to be so good and it's ready to go in the oven again it's going in an oven that's been preheated at 350 degrees and we're going to bake it anywhere between 45 and 60 minutes um, my oven usually takes it for about 50 55 minutes um, but you don't want to bake it too long or else you'll dry the bread out but with the sour cream or the Greek yogurt, whichever you choose, this comes out to be such a moist, wonderful fruit bread. So let's get this in the oven. The raspberry lemon bread has been baking for 55 minutes and I just took it out of the oven and now we're gonna take this little pick and test it. We're gonna just poke it right in the center and make sure it comes out clean. And let's test it over here too and there's a little bit of pink that comes off because it's raspberries <laughs> yeah, but that's okay and it is done so we're gonna leave it on this cooling rack and let it cool before we do anything with the top um, before we take it out of the loaf pan it smells wonderful we're gonna enjoy this be right back now that the raspberry lemon bread has had a chance to cool i let it cool for about 30 minutes and i'm just going to take it like this and voila it came out very easy and then i'm going to lay it on this nice little doily and decorative plate isn't that beautiful <laughs> smells so wonderful and you can do a nice little icing or glaze on top of this but I'm gonna make it simple 
and just do some powdered sugar. The flavor is just so wonderful on this nice fresh lemon and fresh raspberries. It's just yummy. I don't need a whole bunch of icing. Very simple. Very pretty. And just to kind of decorate it a little bit. I wish I had some some little um, mint leaves, but I don't. So we're just going to use a few little raspberries I have left over. And there we go. Beautiful. It came out just wonderful, lovely. It's so pretty, so simple. And now we've got to cut this gorgeous little bread open so we can taste it. So now we're just gonna slice off the end. And you can serve this with some whipped cream if you like. Oh, very nice. Okay, here we go. This is so yummy, I've had it before. <laughs> and we just love this dessert. You could also make it for a nice brunch, Sunday brunch or whatever, or holiday brunches. Mm. The tart of the raspberries and the lemony flavor and actually, um, oh, in the, the moistness from this, um, putting the sour cream makes a big difference. I hope you enjoyed this video and you give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and click on that little bell so you get notified of my next video. This is so yummy. I know your family and friends are going to love it. Bye.